Looking for some updates on the SpaceX 160 feet Starship prototype? Well, you're in the right place. Hello, SpaceX fans. Welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, we warmly welcome you. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and keep yourself updated. So let's dive into our information packed updates from the space industry. You will be excited to know SpaceX is launching a rocket the size of the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, you heard that right. This month, SpaceX plans to launch the Starship, a spacecraft meant to transport people to Mars. In May, the company successfully launched a Starship upper stage prototype, the SN15, to a height of 10 kilometers and landed it intact. The next flight will launch the new generation upper stage atop a massive rocket, known as Super Heavy, to a minimum orbital height of 160 kilometers. The combined height of the new rocket and booster is 394 feet. In comparison, the Statue of Liberty stands at 304 feet tall. The booster spacecraft combination will be of worldwide importance. Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, tweeted two photographs of the Super Heavy standing at a Starbase test site in Boca Chica, Texas on July 1st. The booster alone stands 230 feet tall, nearly the same height as the Statue of Liberty. The entire stack will stand over 400 feet, that's 120 meters tall, with the 150 foot tall top stage connected, making it the largest rocket. Isn't it exciting? On Monday, the final piece of the Super Heavy launch tower arrived at Starbase. Lifting this beast off the ground will necessitate massive thrusting strength. Musk announced on Sunday that SpaceX intends to place 32 or 33 Raptor engines at the bottom of Super Heavy providing up to 230 tons of thrust. Previous Starship prototypes used for high-altitude testing had only three Raptor engines. SpaceX hopes to make both the rocket and the upper stage reusable in the future. However, the earliest testing will concentrate on reaching orbital altitude. According to a flight plan submitted to Federal Aviation Administration by SpaceX, the Super Heavy SN20 combination would take off from Starbase and glide into Earth's orbit in one piece. Consider a 21-story building hurling through the air at almost 17,000 miles per hour. That's 27,000 kilometers per hour. Isn't it difficult to do? And the Falcon Heavy rocket will not even be the largest in SpaceX's arsenal. The 348-foot tall, that's 107-meter BFR, or Big Falcon rocket, of the business, which could one day deliver humans to Mars, is taller than the Statue of Liberty and as wide as a London bus. And that's only the start. Who knows what the future rockets will look like? As massive as these rockets are, we may see much bigger rockets. I mean the BFR is still not as big as the Saturn V rocket that launched us to the moon 50 years ago. The Starship requires the booster stage to enter orbit, and when joined, the two stand 394 feet tall, significantly taller than the Statue of Liberty, which is on the complete pedestal and stands at 305 feet tall. Lady Liberty is 151 feet tall without the plinth, which is the same height as the upper tier of Starlink, which is 160 feet tall. After the orbital launch tower at the Boca Chica facility is completed, later this month, SN20 will launch into low Earth orbit. According to an FCC filing, the prototype will launch from Texas and land off the coast of Hawaii after 90 minutes in orbit. Elon Musk has not specified when the prototype will be released, but analysts believe it might be as soon as early August. Once the launcher has placed the Starship into orbit, it will return to the Earth and land roughly 20 miles from shore in the Gulf of Mexico. Ready to fly again in the future, SpaceX has completed a series of tests on the 160 feet Starship upper stage, the most recent of which, SN15, landed on the launch pad after a brief high altitude flight. But this will be the first full system test. SpaceX has completed a series of tests on the 160-foot long Starship upper stage, the most recent of which, SN15, landed on the launch pad after a brief high-altitude flight. But this will be the first test of the entire Starship system, including the booster stage. The completely reusable Starship rocket will be capable of carrying a payload weighing more than 220,000 pounds into low Earth orbit. According to SpaceX, Starship is a combination of the Super Heavy and the upper stage, with the upper stage being the only piece so far tested by the company. The Super Heavy Booster, the BN4 prototype, is now being developed and will be transferred to the launch site, where a gigantic orbital launch tower is being built. The tower's seventh piece was lifted into place last week, 
and final construction is expected to be completed by the end of the month. On July 1st, Musk posted photographs of the previous BN3 prototype, which showed the massive booster towering over Starbase. The orbital Starship will continue to travel between the Florida Straits, said the company. It will enter orbit before making a powered, planned landing 100 kilometers, that's 62 miles, off the northwest coast of Kauai in a soft ocean touchdown. Elon Musk revealed to SpaceX staff a year ago that Starship development was a key priority, with progress accelerating dramatically and quickly. The result of an increase in the number of Starship prototypes being manufactured at a quick pace, with a new prototype ready before the previous one, had even been tested. The test flights have included everything from static engine firing to launching up to 6 miles into the air and attempting to land back on the launch site. On May 5th, SpaceX made the first successful landing without blowing up. Along with this, for the flight, SpaceX is coordinating with the FCC, the US Air Force, NASA, and the FAA to determine the safest time to launch. One of SpaceX's primary goals is to make Starship rockets reusable and future testing will involve both stages returning to the launch pad. Musk projected that to land 1 million people on Mars by 2025, his Starship rockets would need to fly three times every day. The SpaceX CEO stated that the rocket would make its maiden voyage to Mars carrying only cargo in 2024, followed by a manned expedition in 2026 and that other SpaceX goods would be cannibalized to pay for it. The rocket would be somehow reusable and capable of flying from Earth to Mars directly. Musk believes that once built, the rockets could be used to travel on Earth, claiming that people would be able to get everywhere in under an hour. Till date, the Starship rocket series has seen nine test flights, with some resulting in successful short-distance hops and others resulting in explosions or crash landings. The most recent experimental launch using the Starship SN15 prototype occurring on May 5, 2021, saw the vessel conduct a 33,000-foot-high altitude flight test into low-lying clouds, complete with successful ascension, engine cutoffs, flip maneuver, flap control, and a soft touchdown. As you can see from watching the videos, we've blown up a handful of them. So one way or another, excitement is guaranteed. There's a whole lot of information. That was it guys for today. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and keep yourself updated from the very latest. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe.